Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 38. And today I'm going to go over an issue that I received today at work. Um, it's one of these issues that you would never want it to happen when you're working. So, um, this is basically what happened. Today around 2.30, 3 o'clock, I received a call from one of our hosted sites that we basically managed their email. They basically said that they weren't receiving any email. Um, we got another call from another another site of ours. Again, we didn't see no email. So what we did was we logged into our Exchange server um, and we rebooted our Exchange server. Um, we brought it back up. Still the same issue. So when we um, open up the Exchange System Manager. Uh, we noticed that our mailbox and our public folder store were um, offline and the way that you would see offline or it would be dismounted you would see like a, a red arrow point pointing down and we try to right click on it and we would try to mount it but every time we mount it we receive this error so we searched the ID number C1 041724 and it was basically telling us that we had a defrag our database do this do that do this but then again our our storage location where our database is at was wasn't wasn't up to the limit that it was critical so I did everything that I needed to do I you know uh, I copied over the database to another hard drive. Uh, I did a repair. I defragged it. Defragging takes a long time. So depending on the side of the size of your database, it would take a long time. So I was at work until you know wee hours. It was real crazy. Um, and we finally contacted Microsoft to help us out. And the solution that they basically did was. One of those solutions that I read online, and it was like you you, you shouldn't do it, <laughs> right? So this is the solution that we I, that uh, the exchange guy told me to do. So apparently, um, this right here gets corrupted, okay? And I believe there is a, a command that uh, I used and command prop and I don't remember what it is but most likely when I'm editing this video I shoot it out to you guys and let you know what command that I do uh, the command what it does it takes many dumps of the database and tells you or you find out what status the database is in if the database is in a clean shutdown that means it's good that means something's corrupted between these log files but when I did some research, it says you cannot delete the log files. You can't do this. You can't do that with the log files. All right? When he when he ran this command, uh, it, it gave him an indication that that uh, the status of the the database was in a clean installation, a uh, clean shutdown, and uh, there was a particular log file that that was causing the issue. So what we did was we highlighted the e00.chk and all the log files okay we cut them and paste them into a, a separate location right once we did that we went back into exchange server manager we actually went into the services and rebooted which I can show you guys we actually rebooted not rebooted but we restarted and be careful what I say it's we restarted the Microsoft Exchange Information Store. We restarted that services. We open up our Exchange System Manager. We right click on our mailbox and we mount. Once the mount happened, boom, our mailbox store was up and running, which I was happy because I did not want to stay all day at work trying to figure this out. So um, the technician did tell me if the status which again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot the command to you guys, and uh, probably insert a picture, and show you how the the stuff is done, and um, 
guy said because it was done on because the status of the database was on a clean shutdown didn't really need to do a repair or recovery now if the status of the database came back as a dirty shutdown there's a possibility that we had to repair the database that's worst case scenario repair the database or do a recovery which in my case I was really really lucky that I had a clean state on the database and all I had to do is just remove that database and once you mounted the mailbox as well as your public folders the database the logs the e the e zero zero dot log and the e zero zero dot chk files rebuilt themselves and everything was up and running I did an issue test uh, I went to my OWA which is the online um, Outlook web access I was able to log into that because before when the mailbox store was offline I was able to get that and that's about it um, hoping you guys enjoy this and <laughs> And this, this is one of the things that it's out of the blue. It's not one of those Mondays. It's actually Tuesdays, and this is happening. So, you know, you never know. You got to be ready for anything. I'm hoping that you guys enjoy this episode. Please comment. Please let me know what you think. Please subscribe. And I check you guys later. Thank you so much. Subscribe. Thank you.